Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the volume 7 of Blackbird. So as you can see, it's kind of in a different cover because when I bought it offline, it was in this cover. And so it's more protective and it's a nice like mint green um, background this time. And there we go. Nice mint green. And it says on here, Miss O knows her relationship with Kyo, uh, with Kyo is dangerous, but she used to be one of the, being the one in the pearl. Or she'd be able to stand it when the tables are turned and Kyo is threatened. As a leader of the Tenshi clan and the boyfriend of a Senka uh, maiden, Kyo gets a lot of attention in the demon world, and a very little of it is good. From the wrath of reincarnation drives into the hatred of a demon hunter, Miso must face the fact that she isn't the only one at risk in the relationship. But how can she just stand by while Kyo is threatened? So it starts off with pretty much um, him asking, uh, Kyo asking Miso what he thinks that he should do about bedding the dragon's little sister. And then mind she's like really jealous, she doesn't want him to. And then she answers like, I support you whatever you choose. And then it gets to a few scenes where she's like really angry and mad. She goes, no, I don't want you to bed anyway. I only want you to make, you're the only one who is supposed to bed with me. That is it. Like, like kind of shout at her at him. Like that's saying like, stuff like that. And um, shows her the Valentine's present that he got her. She got home. And it's like a chocolate spread. And she like whipped it on his face. And then she licked it and then. He just kept dropping the spoon so she kind of licking and it was like really funny. And then she tells the little Tenju um, to go and eat all the chocolate spreads so he wouldn't have any ideas to do it again. And he, um, her mother, she about to get home and her mother was um, just came back and she, well, she was leaving to go and get her father. And she said, can you look after the house? So they spend the night together at Mia Sto's house. And he's, he's trying to hold back so much because he does not want anything to happen to her. So he tempts her a little bit sometimes, but she can't hold it anymore. And she, she just can't anymore. She wants it, um, because her friends all know about it, um, or about the situation between pe people, and she wants to know what it's like and all that stuff. And through that, oh crap! But even from that as well, um, it gets to the um, where the this new guy, this guy, who was attacked by Tenju. He has like this massive scar on his head, like a massive one, like that's where he wears a hat. Um called Oh crap, what was his name? Shenchu? Taro. Where's his name? What is your name? I thought his name. I don't know how. Um Hang on. I will find it. Chiharu, that's it. So this guy is called Chiharu, he has muscle scar on his head and he said that demons are very bad, that they attack people that they're not to be. And she was like, Kyo's not like that. And he was outside their lair basically and she where she was wearing this necklace with a tendy feather bar, no evil demons will do her wrong. He attacks her like pop up rips the tendy neck thing off him off her and all the tendies like the attack her. So she was covered in blood and she was thing and he stood there and he was like what's going on what's happening and Kyo opened the door and picked her up and then put her inside so she wouldn't be attacked anymore and everyone's was like what what's happened what's going on and he was like uh, one of them was like stay back you just stay back you've done enough kind of situation like look what he has to do so obviously he heals her wounds that's why she's not hurt he heals every wound that she's ever got um yes he licks the heels the, the wounds but they heal quite a, pretty fast because of his saliva um but he sees like are you are you some kind of something to the humans and um, to them and obviously from that it stops from there and it tells you a little chapter of him the Ch Chiharu who meets a girl who looks like the girl from volume one who bites Miso but these two had like a relationship like this guy there um, and he's completely different, he's completely changed, um, where he met this girl who was a half Tenju, um, her, her other wing got cut pretty much, and it doesn't grow, couldn't grow back, so she's half one, then two fall in love, um, he got hurt really badly, so he had to go to a foreign hospital, he ends up going back to the place, he's in the ground, and all these Tenjus are flying around, and they're like, he's back, let's go and grab her, go and grab her, 
so she comes back running to him i'm not too sure if this was in the past or, it, or now i'm not too sure how it was because it looked like it was now because he did have the scar by the looks of it so it might be in the past or something might have happened to this girl i'm not entirely sure and then at the end it gets to the bit where the oof, what's his name one of the vessels um his his wife pretty much um tells comes but through the rain even though she's ill still um she comes through and she's like please i'm i'm gonna be dying soon i just want to have one last wish to be bed with you and he gets down on one knee and he goes no i'm gonna take you to my place as my wife and she goes all blustered and flustered and everything like that and it was like so funny she's like yeah don't go in there she's gonna be smile like anything so she does i find that kind of kind of interesting so there's volume seven black blackbird so i do want to find out what happened to this bloke uh, Chihiro, what, if, what happened to this girl he was loved, he loved, or what happened to her. So it's going to be interesting to find out what happened. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.